here we go again. Even the final frontier requires a bit of spring cleaning every now and then. There are 500,000 pieces of traceable debris up here and many millions more that are smaller than a marble and just my luck, today they've singled me out. Debris, UFOs, space junk, we've got lots of names, but you can call me Drifty. You see, my friends and I no longer serve a useful purpose and are now deemed as dangerous. It wasn't always like this though. Some of us used to be shiny spacecrafts, integral mission-related materials. Keith over there was once considered a key component of a launch vehicle stage. Hello! Now, now we're considered NASA's most wanted. Perhaps a close second to signs of intelligent life. Couldn't they hurry up and invent time travel down there, as opposed to more ethereal probes to lob at Mars? Take us back to the good old days. Blimey, look at how young I am. If metal could blush, good thing not everything is orbital like me. You wouldn't want those haircuts to come back into fashion anytime soon. Those first moments. Wow, they say in space nobody can hear you scream. That's probably for the best. Otherwise, you'd constantly hear, Wee! Trust me, there's nothing like it. Long after the countdown is over, you're always on the clock. But when your office has views like this, it's hard to complain. Alas, all good things must come to an end. No matter how well you serve your creator, in one way or another, death comes for us all. Watching everything you hold dear, your friends, family, colleagues all implode, explode, shatter, and fragment right before your eyes. It can leave you in pieces. What's worse is the constant reminder, their corpse caught in perpetual motion right there with you or simply part of your daily route. Keith says he knows it's lunchtime when his orbit passes his cousin's lifeboat remains. With more and more objects being launched into space, the more of us it creates. For every giant leap, there's a million little pieces left in its wake. I'll be the first to admit, there's quite a lot of us up here now. You could say it's creating a bit of an atmosphere. So I don't blame my creators, the Earthlings. At least they're starting to clean up the mess they've made. It's just, when you're faced with the end, the last thing you want to do is look at it and accept the gravity of the situation. So whatever your orbit, enjoy it for what it is. Your mass will be attracted to those around it. Embrace them. Take every opportunity and embark on every journey, never losing sight of where you started and how you got there. And always be prepared that if you shoot for the stars, you might just hit a piece of space hardware instead.